Okay, I ended up that last video talking about this concept of layer states manager, so I want to pair that up with something that we've already done, and that is using the view command. So amongst the things that's really important in troubleshooting is to go sometimes in the layer properties manager and turn everything on. So in this case, I'm going to do that turn everything on and thaw everything and I've got kind of that set up there so now if you remember we can go about moving things by going left click left click or else by using our window green grabs everything left click spacebar maybe I'm gonna move that all with my F8 over to here and same thing there I can left click again spacebar 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 I'm gonna scale 0.5 and I've got something that's inside this view box. So that's this box, if you remember, is laid out usually for some concept of setting up a, a, a field of view. And so the way we save the field of view is by saying minus V for view, W for window, and we usually just start with one called PLOTVIEW, plot view, though you're going to make a lot of different views potentially in a drawing first corner shift right click from the endpoint there to shift right click to the endpoint there now I have set up a view I can get to that view if you look at it right here I have it I can click right to it and jump to it I might want to set up another view and usually we're gonna go ahead and make our box if you would that box would probably be right click properties that box should probably be on not on the object layer but on the view layer so setting up these habits very early are incredibly important. Now, if we think about what goes into a camera shot or a view of a model, it is not just where the camera it is the set of settings. In other words, the layer state. So if you get everything set up the way you like, so for instance, I'm going to go V for view, and then go to plot view and set current and set apply or OK. This is my view here. That's what I like, but perhaps I don't want the yellow box around the outside and I want the blue to be red. Well, I can do that by going to Layer Manager, set my current layer maybe to something innocuous like zero, freeze the view layer, and then change my other layer, which I guess I was working with no show. I might want that to be something like green. When I hit OK here and close it up, everything's set up that way. My view is still in memory, but I can now go to that layer stage manager. And maybe at this point, I go ahead and I go ahead and save this over the top of the plot view layer state. So generally, it's going to be a good idea sometimes to name your layer state that's involved with plotting to the same name as your view. So I'm going to sit, you hit yes and hit close which means now if I go to a layer here like go back to my point here maybe get completely lost in my drawing if you remember here I'm gonna draw a line from 1 million comma 1 million to 0 comma 0 zoom E so remember that well I can always get back to where I want by going to plot view right here and I can always get back to my layer state manager by going to either right here plot view right and what you'll notice however is because this was a new layer that I kinda lay in sometimes it, it won't do exactly what you want but you want to get used to right here you might it actually that layer zero was on so you see that plot view what I can do here is I can continually update it so I can go layer I'm gonna freeze that layer you don't want to freeze the current layer generally so we can go back to the layers here we can set our current layer to be there not to be zero and then we can click on here and freeze and now we can go back to layer state manager and we can just go ahead and save right on top of that or more or less update yes and then close and that's gonna set us up for what's going to be the final and most important piece of plotting is that we get everything kind of set up around a box that is similar in size to the box that we have laid out here in our drawing and I didn't do that in this case but we're going to want to have that view similarly sized here all thought out the layer states all thought out everything looking like we want it to look 
before we walk over here into the model, the paper space, and we say, double click out here in the gray space and say, V for view, plot view, set current, OK, and grab that little edge. And if we've done everything correctly here, this scale right here will come in just as we anticipated. Now, because I did not make my box completely similar, I still have an option here to go back and go ahead and change that to one to one per se, or one to two, or one to four, right? And that's gonna kind of lock everything in. But you wanna really get used to, as you're laying things out, to setting in this concept of the layer states manager and the view before you kind of go and start clicking around in paper. That's a, that's a habit thing. And I'm going to show you now why it's a habit. So you can kind of develop it, not just, you know, we're doing it for this one, but it's going to pay off much, much later as we go into three dimensions. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just for the first time show you and demonstrate that in fact if I go on this clearing steering wheel here I can actually orbit around and I can look at this thing in three dimensions by kind of clicking around here and I'm going to hit right click close the wheel and now instead of saying minus V I'm just going to say V for view I'm going to say a new view and I'm just going to use the view name is going to be a temp one and I'm going to go and use the current display and hit OK. And I'm going to hit Apply and OK. The reason I do that, now if I go over to here, same thing, double click on the outside, V for View. If I go to here and now I say Temp, Set Current, OK, it's going to really give me some control later on what I want to do. Now you see the scale doesn't mean much there. One to two might work, but this really doesn't mean so much when you're not in two dimensions. So I'm going to finally show you what is stored in view, and more importantly, I'm going to show you the command PLAN, which is pretty much akin to looking down on your model right here. But I would tell you the habit of typing plan is not a bad habit. Of course, you can then go back to the view, which was the plot view, looking down like that. And as I type V for view, name view command, you're going to see under these two what two things were what what richness was stored there plot view if you thought was a 2d view and if you think about it it's stored basically with a camera and a target a roll a height and a width but it's kind of telling you where the camera and the target is in the theory that this is just a direction you see the perspective is off if i go to temp however you can see that the camera and the target are actually 3d positions and perspective here is off. I can actually turn that back on just kind of to show you that there's a lot of different things stored when you do a view for a V for a view. You can see sometimes these layers, you, you can treat them within the view, but I recommend you dealing with them in their own layer manager state. And so I hit apply and I hit here set current and now I've got something called perspective view and you see a lot of things kind of get screwed up and look around. So that view is setting up an incredibly large set of information generally vector based and if you think about how we keep track of for you know for where either uh, we're looking at a machine part or where the sun is it's going to generally be based on some sort of vector the azimuth of the sun which way the street is turned all these different things we don't deal with them mathematically with usually angles we deal them with them with something called unit vectors and a unit vector is basically a vector that describes the direction of the of the vector. So once again, if I go here to view, I'm going to go back to my plot view, set current, OK. And you see it's setting some things back there. V for view again. And you notice that the camera and the target are stored. In this case, the camera is at 0, 0, 1 straight above, looking straight down to 0, 0. But there's certain things you can change on and off here. Um, clipping planes, all kinds of different stuff. These are all stored in views, and views are incredibly important anytime you're dealing with visual information, be it Photoshop, be it SketchUp, be it just basic thought. So that's uh, a lot 
a lot about layers and layer manager and views and that those two things are if you can kind of make good use of those and and, and changing the colors on your layers and in a design sense um, you can both draft with some originality and you can keep track of colors yourself and then set it back to some standards so thanks for listening um, that's 20 minutes we'll call that good and I'll pick up the field command next week for the group that didn't get that <laughs>